Hey everybody, Brad with Diesel's Hog Vlog here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. So, it's winter. If you follow my Instagram under the same name as this YouTube channel, uh, you probably saw my drone footage recently and it is winter here, socked in. So, anyways, I thought, hey, let's hit the garage and uh, do a review of something that I saw here on YouTube. I was watching YouTube and I was watching one of Anonymous Biker USA's videos and I noticed some gloves he had on uh, while he was riding and I kind of liked the looks of them so I hit him up I said hey do you can you tell me what kind they are and uh, turns out he has an affiliate link to these guys and Mad Glove or Mad Bike I guess they're actually called that's uh, these here so I got them in the mail yesterday opened up the box but I haven't opened these yet I thought I'll do it for you guys and me uh, so no idea how accurate their sizing are and if it's going to fit. So let's check them out. All right, let's get into these here. I think they just pop open. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, we've got, uh, got the gloves, a little bit of napkin in between. All right, well, let's try these on. They seem nice uh, looking first impressions. At the rubber grip, they got a good skid plate uh, right on the bottom. Uh, it's hard plastic and uh, good armor on the tops of the fingers and the knuckles. So let's uh, make these Velcro up here. Yes, they do. And uh, let's get a first impression, get this glove on. Okay, well, right off the bat, their sizing was very good. My fingers are right at the end, but not tight. Um, just, just comfortable. So... Uh, yeah, here's that place I was even. Yeah, they're hard, and of course the knuckles are. So they got good, good armor all over the place. The fit is great. So, uh, yeah, hey, I'm gonna say that that's a that's a win right off the bat when they fit. Oh yeah, well, I can't wait to try these out. These are gonna be good. Um, the gloves that I currently wear are just uh, over here on the bike, let me grab them. Okay, so the gloves that I currently wear uh, are made by Hatch. And uh, so they're uh, they're a law enforcement or uh, border patrol type uh, issue. So they have Kevlar inside, uh, so they cut resistant and everything. So nice leather, they contour to your hands perfectly. So that was one of the things I really liked about them. And then of course with the, the Kevlar interior, nice. But really at the end of the day, I mean, they're gonna offer some protection if you, uh, heaven forbid you hit the road. Um, but I don't believe that they are gonna offer the level of protection that these new ones do. Um, you can't always get your hands up where they should be, you know, we all have the fantasy that when you lay a bike down, you're going to swan dive and you're you're going to go down just right and you're going to tumble this way. And we all have a plan, right? But in, real, in reality, it's not usually what happens. So uh, these, I, you know, if you land on the back of your hand or, you know, you're, you're trying to reach down and you end up punching something like the ground or, you know, metal or whatever, uh, these are going to offer way more protection than just these leather hatch gloves with the Kevlar inside. So um, I can't speak to how nice these are to ride with. Um, anonymous, good guy, good channel. Don't think he'd steer me wrong. Uh He's all about protection, and if he uses them and he likes them, then I feel confident these are good. But yeah, you get your fingertip armor, you get into it that soft part just below your knuckle there, and then your knuckle protection. So, and then on the back of your hand, there's a nice, I mean, you can see it there, there's a nice thick plate here, and then the plate here, and then it's grippy. The whole glove is grippy, so... I think they're going to do just fine and they, they fit and contour real nice. So time will tell this summer. Why don't you hit up Anonymous Biker USA on his Instagram or comment on one of his videos and tell him that you'd like, uh, you know, maybe a link to these Mad Bike gloves. Uh, and I see with mine, I got a cashback coupon. So on any other order over a hundred bucks, I will get $20 off. And 
when we're talking the U.S. Canadian exchange for us guys up here, that's awful nice because we're paying pretty big differential on the money right now. So anyhow, hit up Mad Bike, hit up Anonymous Biker USA. I don't think you'll be disappointed. First impressions of these gloves are great. So anyhow, thanks for watching and little spoiler for what's coming up. I got the last set of brake pads that are available for my Ultra Classic because parts are hard to come by this year. And you know, I looked at my rear brakes this summer uh, at the end of riding season almost, and I was down to about uh, maybe 20% on the brake pads, which is still quite a bit, but still not where I like to be. So I went to the dealer and lo and behold, they said, we have one set left and not sure when we can get more. Well, then give them to me. <laughs> so... We'll throw a set of brakes in this bad boy in the next episode. Have you done brakes on your Harley before? Or on your bike, whatever it is you ride? I can honestly tell you I haven't. I've changed brakes and everything from a Honda Civic to a Freightliner. And uh can't be that hard, can it? I guess we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you next time.